hello, this is uh, Dr. Hasi Baman. I'm a physician and uh, uh, and dermatologist practicing in Mangalore at uh, Medifit Clinic. Uh, on, a, uh, on an occasion of uh, World Heart Day, I would like to take an opportunity to talk about uh, hypertension. Because hypertension is the most important uh, topic to be discussed in the, with, as it is involving day-to-day -day life uh, with uh, many people across. So usually it's very, everyone would like to have a healthy or a normal blood pressure. But what exactly, what exactly it means? Basically, each time when the heart beats, uh, heart beats, it pumps into the blood vessels, and this creates a pressure against the walls of the blood pressure, uh, walls of the blood vessels. This is called as um, blood pressure. In a normal, healthy individual, the normal blood pressure should be somewhere around 120 by 80 millimeters of mercury, whereas uh, uh, whereas the blood pressure rises over a period of time, it can lead to various serious health uh, complications leading to uh, leading to other lifestyle associated diseases associated with high blood pressure most common causes of high blood pressure is uh, uh, common cause of or the risk factors what you can say associated with high blood pressure is smoking obesity sedentary lifestyle high alcohol consumption stress and other risk factors includes your age and your family history of high blood pressure, excess of salt intake in your diet, eating a lot of processed and junk food. So moving on with this, some people don't have any obvious symptoms regarding hypertension. Most often we come across people uh, who don't have uh, symptoms at all. So that's why hypertension is, is a silent killer. So the option, only thing is to avoid these kind of things, have to check your blood pressure on a regular basis. So how can you how can you prevent this? Uh, how can the risk be prevented? Or you can take some better steps in controlling your uh, blood pressure. So what are the strategies you can do? The first thing is regular exercise and physical activity. Make sure that you are doing having a regular exercise, regular physical activity, at least thirty minutes of exercise per day. That would be recommended. But apart from that, uh, I would like to say at least. Uh, uh, have a brisk walk for a period of 30 minutes, uh, at least for a week, even if you're not able to uh, walk for some uh, walk for a daily, at least make sure you have a 30 minutes minimum walk per week around, at least for one, uh, for a week. Other is a healthy diet and lifestyle. Eating a lot of green leafy vegetables, including green leafy vegetables, taking fruits, and reducing your salt intake, that would be excellent. Excellent in your diet. So every Reduction, you know, at, at every reduction in your salt reduces your blood pressure by five to six millimeter of mercury. Quit smoking. Quit smoking as a chronic smoker. Stop smoking. Advise your patient. Advise the patient to stop smoking and continue to check your blood pressure monetary basis because uh, the, most of the patients don't have any symptoms. So regular checking of your blood pressure would definitely help in fighting this uh, disease. Lastly, other than that, is your stress management. Have a regular exercise, have yoga, do meditation, and have a good sleep. That is more important. And lastly, being adherent to your medication. Take your antihypertensive medication on time and have follow a healthy lifestyle. That's more important. Take your medications on a regular basis and check your blood pressure on a regular basis and consult your doctor for it. Uh, for the for the opinion and check your blood pressure in regular intervals and have a life, healthy and wonderful lifestyle. With this, I would like to conclude my talk for now and uh, have a safe, have a safe, uh, have a safe, healthy lifestyle and uh, keep yourself fit. Thank you so much.